So, what got me into Sonic? What makes me like Sonic so much? What is the big deal about the blue blur? Well, if you guys watched one of my videos, Sonic Omens, that's in the comment section below. It talks about how Sonic got me through really rough times. Sonic's got that personality where it's basically, he doesn't really care. He's just gonna keep moving. He doesn't really care what people think. And it's really inspirational and it's kind of like a role model standard. Growing up, I was bullied a lot. And not many of the teachers understood me because I had ADHD. That video is out in the description below if you guys want to go check that out. When I was five years old, I came across a video game that my cousin was playing. And it was this blue guy running down a hill being chased by a truck. I looked at my cousin. I said, what is that? He goes, oh, this is Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a really fun game. I talked to my dad and I, uh, right after that. And I said, I want that for my birthday. My dad, he was just like, yeah, we'll see. And that usually meant no. I guess my birthday comes along and I got the game. <laughs> I was so hyped. I was so excited. It was on a, it was a Nintendo GameCube Sonic Adventure 2. I think what really got me liking Sonic was the smile. It's that that it's that smile, man. It's, it's like it's the smirk. I think it's that mindset of him just going, I don't care. I'm just running. I I know I'm cool and I'm gonna keep going. I was never really the type of person to just do that because I was very socially awkward. I think I started getting bullied and understanding what bullying was when I was six or seven. So Sonic, I just played a lot. And honestly, I think I wasn't five when I played my first video game. I think I was six. I had to be six because I think Sonic Adventure 2 came out in 2001 or 2002. It was one of those years. And I, I didn't stop playing it. I didn't. I think it was just something about seeing Sonic and hearing the cool music and seeing that carefree look on his face and he just keeps going. It makes me know that even though I was bullied all the time, I can actually look up to Sonic because no matter what's in his way, things gonna stop him because he just keeps moving. You know, gotta go fast. The the, the speed on the on the on the games, they they help my they help my brain out because it's constantly moving. It's a blue guy that you just gotta keep an eye on and just blast through. It's like it, it's like the owners of Sonic knew what they were doing. It's like they knew who they were trying to get to talk to. Sonic was a huge inspiration in my life, as I said many times previously I guess it was just the one character I knew really that could be I guess a big brother in a sense if that I, I don't know I feel like if anything bad happened I didn't really want to talk to my family about it because I didn't understand what it was but I did and I turned to Sonic because he wasn't gonna ask any questions it was just he's gonna help me get through this we're gonna beat some bad guys together it, it's almost like I was Tails, and I feel like Tails looks up to Sonic incredibly. And I feel like we can all relate to Tails. We've always been bullied, and we've always been hurt. Next thing you know, we meet Sonic like Sonic met Tails. He just kind of came out of nowhere, and we we got drawn to that like Tails got drawn to Sonic. We get drawn to Sonic, and we're like, oh, this is... I want to be like this guy. I, I want to have that mindset, and I want to be around this dude if I'm feeling down. You know what I mean? So that's what, that's what Sonic does for me. I don't know if it does for you, but if, if, if there's anything out there that you enjoy that gets you away from all the things in life, that's great, but that Sonic is for me, you understand? He got me through the worst of problems. I was bullied, went to Sonic. Had bad teachers, went to Sonic. Sometimes I played a bad game, I went to Sonic. I'm 25 years old, and I love Sonic. Drawing him in middle school and making little mini comics, a lot of people were thinking that I was addicted to him, that I was obsessed with him, and I'm like, no, I'm not obsessed. It's just my channel is mainly Sonic and I didn't always used to do those if you guys want to see all those Just go way back in my videos and get to see what I always used to post funny enough The fact that I just decided to do a Sonic Forces video just for the heck of it y'all like that and a, l a lot and I'm like, okay This is new. So you're telling me that my whole life. I got bullied for loving Sonic but now I'm being rewarded for uploading a video of me playing a character that I love? What is going on? It's almost like my biggest inspiration is now <laughs> my main thing to play on YouTube and people love to watch it. it. That's like so crazy. I've never experienced this kind of passion in a long time because when I play something I love, I get to actually upload it and share the world that I love it. I don't have to force myself to play games that I would think would be funny it would be just now I can play something that I know I'm gonna love and I think people react more 
in a positive way, seeing somebody enjoying what they love instead of stuff where they're, you know, they're actually trying to be funny and they're cringe. But that was, that was the thing. Like, that's what got me into Sonic. Sonic Adventure 2, running down the hill and throughout my whole life, been Sonic, man. Gotta go fast, stay strong. And his famous quote from a fortunate old bad video game, but it's a guilty pleasure of mine, Sonic 06. He says, nothing starts until you take action. If you have time to worry, then run. That's crazy. I love that quote. Nothing starts until you take action. I like that one. It's such a good quote. Like, nothing starts until you take action. So, you wanna, you got, you got somewhere to be? Go to it! Everybody likes to hate Sonic for what reason, I don't know. Everybody cares about the story, but you gotta look at the character. Focus on who the character is and what he does, and it'll go a long way. It's crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much why I love Sonic. Now, the other question was, what does your life entail? Meaning, do you guys want to know a little bit more about my life? Where I grew up, who my friends were, what kind of people I hung around with, you know, that kind of thing. If you guys want to know a little bit more about my life, I want you to comment life down in the description below. And we're not going to do a secret word today, guys. I figured if you guys stuck by here and if you guys already made it to here, I guess you can say right now, comment down the word lifestyle. And if you comment that, you can get shot on the next video. But I got to make sure that you're willing to do it. So I got to see a little bit more. We weren't doing so good in the last video. But if you want to get shouted out, comment the word lifestyle and I'll hit you up. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Thank you for hearing that question, question answered. I'm Cosmeto. That just happened. Bye, guys.